So the truth is, is this, this, is called, is, this is amazing about how these stories come about. So what actually happened is this. So the nice thing about, oh, this is another thing that happened is, so Acorn had, they, Acorn had found this building for the new company on, and it was at Vision Park, and it was a lovely concrete building, and it was beautiful, and I'm the new CEO, and they've got the building all lined up. And I said, don't like that building, it's too expensive, and it's got the wrong personality, can't afford it got to find another building. So Malcolm Bird, who's running the team before I come along within Acorn, not too pleased that I don't like his building, but we have a nice chat and he finds one of his guys to go and find me another building and we'll go and have a look. And we find a barn and it's called, it actually is called the Arm Barn and it was an old cow shed with beams and everything, looked really beautiful. And so we've got to kit it out with new office furniture. The other thing I did, which again you might say was a risk, I bought a Mercury telephone exchange with voice answering on it, which back then was very expensive. But I thought, we're going to be a global company, we're going to be, we want answers 24 hours a day, we need voicemail. So, that, so I spent money there. With the furniture, I want the best furniture I can get for uh, the money I've got to spend. And they got some lovely wooden furniture or some plastic furniture. So I said to the guy who's selling me the furniture, um, you really should sell me the wooden furniture at the price of the plastic furniture because in our barn you can take photographs and against the memes you'll love you can promote your stuff so he agreed to do that and then I was still short of money and I wanted a boardroom table if he could make me a lovely wooden boardroom table it would go with the furniture and it would look nice in his brochure and I didn't have any and, and we were negotiating so it was toss you for the boardroom table and I happened to win the toss just lucky and the, 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 uh, I'd actually decided that to start with, they didn't need drawers, they could put their books on the floor. So what I'm saying is I'd spent the money on the voicemail, but I'd said no, not having drawers. And I never lost the, uh, the drawers, by the way. But it's interesting how these stories come about.